Greetings and welcome to a new video. So guys, you wanted a tool that you can use to downgrade your iOS devices to your desired iOS version without using an SHSH blob. This is high in demand because most of you don't have the blob saved for the previous versions of iOS like iOS 14. So here is a brief introduction to a new tool called Sunstrom that you can use to tether downgrade your devices without using an SHSH blob. I will link this GitHub page to the comment section or to the description. You can check out the files right here. First of all, when you begin, you will click code here and download the zip file, which will have all these files. Please note that this only work on checkmate devices, meaning A11 and lower devices. Currently, it requires macOS, but in the future, it may be available for Linux or Windows. If you scroll down, you can check out it is an iOS tether downgrader for checkmate devices. And it is the easiest tool available currently. And here are the requirements. These are the required files or dependencies that you need to use this tool. If you open all these links, you will have the instructions to install these files also so it is pretty easy in the end you will need python 3 if you open the python 3 link you can easily install it on mac os next when you are done just run this command and it will automatically install all the python dependencies for you so once done when all the files are downloaded you will go to this directory and you have to use these options to start restoring or booting I will show you what all this means. First of all is the path to the IPSW. Second one is the path to SHSS2. Please don't worry. You will need any SHSS2 blob for any version, meaning for example, you want to downgrade to 14.3. So even the 15.5 SHSS2 blob will work. Just the blob should be valid. Again, it can be of any version, just it should be valid. All right. Now you have restore mode. You will use this option. Next, to use the boot mode, you will use this option. I'll show you how to get the board config and the identifier. It is very easy. First of all, let me talk about the identifier to get the identifier. Just open iTunes and just connect your device via USB. Just click here a few times and you will see your identifier. Currently it is an iPhone 7 which is connected and it is iPhone 9,3. So now you have the identifier. Next, I'll show you how to get the board config. It is also very easy. Just open this website ipsw.me select your device. Right now, I am using an iPhone 7 GSM. So here you can also see the identifier iPhone 9,3. So you are on the right device. Next, if you click on device information, you can check out here is the board config that you will use here while you are downgrading or restoring using this tool. Next. KPP. If you are on an A9 or lower device, you have to use KPP. And if you are on A10 or higher device, you don't need this switch or option. And if you are using a device with iOS 11 or lower, you can use this legacy mode. Next, if you are still confused about the SHSH2 blob, let me explain again. To get an SHSH2 blob, you have to simply open this website, TSS server website, and then open iTunes and then click a few times here. You will get the ECID, right click, copy, and then click on retrieve, right click, paste, submit, and open link. As I have told you earlier, you can use any saved SHSH2 blob from here. For example, I want to downgrade to 14.3 but i don't have the blob for 14.3 i 
I will just scroll down and use the blog that is saved for example for 15.5 and this tool will work and will tether downgrade your device this will work with any SHSH2 blob but it should be valid also if you don't have any blob saved here you can always use blob saver simply connect your device and click read from device and simply click go here like that it is done I will also link the guide to the blob saver in the description that you can use if you don't have any blob saved next you will simply use these commands inside the folders where your files are saved from the zip file just connect your device and use these commands and rest of it it will do automatically also guys if you need a complete guide let me study the code and everything and arrange a mac os machine and uh, hopefully i will be able to create a full guide for you but i think this brief introduction is very well enough for everyone who is interested in this uh, downgrading also guys if i have missed anything please ask me in the comment section and please try it out and tell me how it goes waiting for your comments that's all for this video guys i will see you in a new video goodbye